What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Brown Bag of Maximum Beverage. I'm your host Matt Whitney. This is episode 58. It's Wednesday, Wine Wednesday. We're doing a versus. Bring you inside the bottle every Monday, Wednesday, Friday to find out who's bringing value and who isn't. Who is not. So, good wine on Monday. A little shard. Got a little uh, versus action here on May 3rd. A little toasty brambliness on the nose there. Get that kind of uh, piney raspberries. Decent nose. A little jammy fruit there. Nice tannins. Good acid. It's a well balanced wine. It's not over the top. Kind of round berry notes. Um, really nice. Nicely done wine there. All right, let's get into wine number two here. So again, we got the kind of jammy, uh, not as brambly, like if you were to open a, you know, I don't want to say Welch's, but like Concord Grape Jam, because it's got some raspberry in there, a little strawberry, but it's like jelly with a little bit of, like a lacing of greenness. All right, a little bit bigger wine on this one, but to me, I'm getting like a little off note, and then in the mouth, a little bit of sugar that I'm not loving, like candy. Um, ever take those wax lips? Remember those wax lips? And you you put them in your mouth, right? And you chew on them for a little while, the red ones, and they have that kind of I can say plastic, but uh, it's got that that thing going on there. So here's where I'm at. Got two zins, first of all. Two zins, uh, one on the left, I like better. I think the price points, I think this m might be less money, actually, than the one on the right. Um, so I'm gonna price them out like this. I'm going eight, seven here. I'm going eight on the right. And I'm going $17.99 here on the left, $19.99 on the right. So 20 bucks, eight points, $18, eight points seven. Let's see what we got. We'll, we'll, let's reveal the, uh, what I would pin the loser as of right now. Josh Merlot. Not as in. Didn't love it. Based on what I was price how I was priced when we were at 15 bucks on the Josh Merlot, I think, $14.99. See what this one is. Both Merlots. Washington State, the Velvet Devil. God, I was so zen on these. I got a blind spot for two varietals, Merlot and Malbec. I just can't, for some reason, I, I, it's just one of the things that I just don't identify well. I think the price point on this is like 12 bucks, right? 15.99. 15.99, so this is more. I thought this was cheaper, but I like this better. It's Washington State, it's more balanced. I mean, this is Josh, everyone loves Josh Cab, right? To me, this wine is, I was wrong in the price. I didn't. Let me just re rephrase this whole thing in a nice box for you. To me, the Josh was an in, an ex, more expensive wine done poorly. It's just an inexpensive wine done how an inexpensive wine would, would be done. And then the Velvet Devil to me, this is from uh, Charles Smith um, out of Washington State, 2014, um, was kind of right where I thought it would be. Um, I said 18 bucks. $16 on the shelf, 8.6 or 8.7. And then uh, we got eight on the Josh Merlot. Okay, wines, I'll do the buy on the Velvet Devil Merlot. Pretty tasty, cheers. Mm -hmm. 